Mr. Beast is currently undergoing the most massive cover-up in YouTube history. He's allegedly deleting thousands of comments, editing out his old videos, and, and even sending some cease and desist letters to ex-employees speaking out about this. And finally, a lot of the Squid Game IRL contestants complained that the games were too real and a lot of people got injured. The contestants in the Internet Stars Beast Games expected outlandish challenges and signed contracts that acknowledged risks of serious injury and death. Do you want a heart to save your life? Or do you want a Mr. Beast rap Tesla? No brainer, I'd be taking the Tesla. Baba Bowie. WestJet. What is up, American Bisons and Chris Tysons, WestJet 65, Venezuelan trillionaire here, and today we're talking about Mr. Breast. Oh, and literally 0% of you are subscribed, so be sure to subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Stuff ain't looking so hot for Mr. Cease and Desist. Remember earlier how I mentioned he was deleting comments? Well, this is a graph somebody made that actually shows how many comments stay on the videos versus how many are actually put out. There's also been a massive drama regarding the amount of dislikes his video gets. Some people believe that the return YouTube dislike extension is accurate, and Mr. Beast has been getting utterly and totally smoked, while others don't. Drama Alert apparently reached out to Mr. Beast and got the real numbers, but I honestly doubt 99.6% is there, but who knows? It could be. I'm gonna say it. Who gives a f about comments and YouTube dislikes. We're here for justice. Now, we're not here to cancel Mr. Beast because that's honestly cringe. We're here to check out the cease and desist stuff. One other thing, disclosing dif sensitive confidential proprietary information. Company are you, How do you feel about that? Do you feel nervous or do you feel, do you feel no, no, no. excited? I feel confident. Exo you feel not excited. Oompaville actually got the guy and interviewed him about the whole Mr. Beast thing, which is awesome, and uh, he seems to be doing fine, because if I was getting sued by Mr. Beast, I'd be pooping a brick. I know he's not necessarily getting sued right now, it's just a cease and desist, but goddamn, that's scary anyway. Keep, you need to keep me updated on your your cease and desist, because my you're not ceasing or desisting. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like no if Mr. Beast is Batman, this guy's his Joker. He finally met his maker. If anybody is able to cover up something of this massive scale, it's Mr. Beast. Maybe even with the help of YouTube, because some of this stuff is looking a bit sketchy. But I still can't get over the fact that Chris Tyson literally became a nightmare for Mr. Beast and essentially ruined his life and put his business in jeopardy. Also, I think some of the Mr. Beast giveaways are fake. Did they fake giveaways, you think? Uh, I think some of them just kind of slipped through the cracks or it's like... You know, you're giving away a thousand phones, maybe one producer, they want one for their nephew yeah. or something. It's no one's like actually regulating. It's not like the FTC is watching over their shoulder. Yeah. So you can, you can get away with some small things here and there. That's why I think the cease and desist was a bit weird, and the response from the other Mr. Beast employees was sketchy at best. They were dead ass arguing about a raccoon instead of addressing the illegal lottery accusations. Uh, what about the raccoon? raccoon was... <laughs> Dude, the raccoon, the, in reality, it's much worse. Oh being shit! A actor. And there's a scene where somebody off camera takes the raccoon and like throws it onto the bed. And I'm sure you can pull this clip up. The edit is very strange because there's a zoom in and pan up. So it like hides the fact that the raccoon is going on the bed. Uh, but what it's really doing is hiding the fact that someone's throwing the raccoon. And then there's a voiceover in post of Jimmy saying, oh man, the raccoon just ran in the hotel or whatever. And they're like screaming at it. And so it's like, Almost, I wouldn't say animal abuse, but like, it's it's kind of borderline mistreatment. Chris Tyson, leave the kids alone. Mr. Beast, leave the raccoons alone. This isn't cool. I personally have an idea why Mr. Beast's team never mentioned anything about the illegal lotteries, because they're probably trying to go through with this on a legal channel. That's the radio silence. While doing research for this video, I found Dogpack404's Twitter, and he's following one person, which, you guessed it, Mr. Beast. <laughs> that sent me laughing so hard. This is a generational level of hater. Once a blue moon. I understand we're all sitting here in our tidy whiteies thinking we're some sort of law expert but what do you guys think in the comments? Does Mr. Beast really have a case against this guy? If you've watched his video, I don't really think he said anything too bad. He basically oopsie daisy exposed them for faking a few signatures and maybe running a few lotteries for kids. Basic stuff that would all do, to be honest. Let's not lie to ourselves, guys. If me and you were Mr. Beast, we'd start our own freaking website called beast.com and put roulette and slots on it. Gamble idiots. You understand, if you watch the entire context of all my gambling over 15 months, you'll see it as 99.8% big wins. Number one, the illegal lottery thing. That's bad, okay? That's that's like objectively bad. That's a crime. That's fraud. Nobody should do that. Secondarily, the big thing is like that people have said for so long is that his videos are faked and like the extent of which they are faked. Do you think that some of the philanthropy channel videos are like faked 
is they're obviously a different thing because it's all for good. Like, what is your stance on the philanthropy aspect of the Mr. Beast Industrial Complex? Before he replies, I wanted to interject here. This guy's actually a very good interviewer. I gotta give this guy hella credit because some of these questions are pretty hard hitting and juicy. To be honest, I'm on Mr. Beast's side here because it's a massive stretch to say that just because he faked the raccoon, it means that he's gonna be faking his philanthropy because one is much worse than the other. You know what I mean? Mr. Beast can easily write off the raccoon as entertainment, but he can't just write off the wells. He can't just not build the wells or like tear them all down. <laughs> Although it would be funny in a twisted way if he sort of built the wells, got the views and then took him down, but I digress. It's hard to go into the, the philanthropy right now because that's kind of what I'm investigating. Okay. And I've received DMs from people who I have verified as Mr. Beast employees claiming different ways in which they're sort of fluffed up, you know? And it's sort okay. of a controlled narrative. Like, I'll give one example, which is a DM I received about somebody saying that when he healed uh, a thousand blind people, yeah, those, many of those people were, go were going to get the surgery for cheap or for free regardless. I didn't say Mr. Beast was expediting the process, but the implication was there. So the fact that he's even saying this leads me to believe that he has some sort of valid sources to back this up because this is a risky game he's playing. It's one thing to get sued by a bum off the street who can't keep a court case running indefinitely because they'd run out of money, but this is Mr. Cease and Desist. His pockets run deep. Looking at it, Mr. Beast's numbers did take a hit. He's gaining less subs than he did before. Now, he's not losing subs like my stupid clickbait thumbnail might make you think, but this is a pretty big change. This is a ski lift level drop in subs. Like, it's not looking good. A YouTuber named Upper Echelon actually made a great video discussing the cover-up in great detail and the amount of comments that were actually deleted. I'll play the video here. Here's a complete list of the comments, by the way, where you can see things like this showcasing that all at once for various keywords and phrases, dozens or even hundreds of comments will disappear in close proximity to each other. For example, comments simply containing the word script were suddenly mass deleted. Comments containing the word fake were mass deleted as well. For the sake of transparency, I'm going to link this file down below in the description along with other resources for anyone that wants to check or go back and see if their comment shows up here. Keep in mind, this is a rough 36 hour snapshot from the 4th to midway through the 5th of August 2024. It's not the entire lifespan of the video. He's taking notes from Shazam and deleting all the negative criticism. 20,000 deleted comments is crazy. In my opinion, deleting comments is the most loser activity you can do. And I'm not saying Mr. Beast sitting himself in his tidy whitey's doing this. It's his team doing it. And, uh, you know, they might think this is the best decision, but I have to humbly disagree. The real number of total deleted comments is much, 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 much higher than 26,000. But even with just one portion of data, I'm supposed to believe that a video where the creators are mass deleting tens of thousands of comments only has 37,000 dislikes and has a lower dislike percentage than the rest of the channel's videos? This is so far outside the realm of actual possibility, it boggles the mind. I think it could be, it couldn't be. I don't want to allege anything in case I'm proven wrong, but it doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? The numbers don't make sense. In order, I think the craziest thing Mr. Beast has done is the cease and desist, followed by the cover-up, and then I would say the game show. I'm going to play my homie Pegasus's video, who's literally the exodia of Mr. Beast. He's made like 17 videos, so I think he's he knows it pretty well. There were several hospitalizations. That's obviously not good, not something you want to see happen in a sort of innocent game show. We signed up for the show, but we didn't sign up for or not being fed or watered or treated like human beings, one contestant told the Times. Like many of the people who appear in Mr. Beast's YouTube videos, some of the contestants said that they needed the cash to pay for things like student loans and medical debt. After learning that they would be competing against twice as many people, some said they felt they had been misled about the odds of winning. Apparently, they thought they'd be competing against a thousand people, but it turned out to be two thousand instead. Oh, Mr. Beast, you can't be doing stuff like that, man. What's going on? One meal described by several contestants included a tiny any portion of cold oatmeal, one hard boiled egg, and a few pieces of raw vegetables. A f shell Obama. Mr. Beast out here solving the obesity crisis in America, hands down by himself. This is a national hero. He should be praised for this. Mr. Beast was also in the Discord leaks where Chris Tyson was being a sussy imposter. Now, he never really said anything other than the fact that Chris's is big and. That's really about it. So, yeah.